Have you ever wondered how remote access Trojans work? In the vast, interconnected world of cyberspace, these cunning pieces of malware, often known as rats, lurk unseen, ready to seize control of unsuspecting systems. Let's break it down. The term remote access Trojan might sound complex, but it's rather telling. These are types of malicious software, malware for short, that give hackers the ability to remotely control a victim system. And the most unnerving part, this happens without the victim's knowledge. But how do these rats find their way into systems? More often than not, they're masquerading as legitimate software. Yes, that's right. That seemingly harmless application you just downloaded could very well be a Trojan horse harboring a rat ready to compromise your system. So do you think you can spot a remote access Trojan? Let's delve deeper. Rats are not just mere pests, they are powerful tools in a hacker's arsenal. Let's dive into how remote access Trojans or rats actually work. These crafty tools are software programs that provide a backdoor for administrative control over a computer system. Their operation can be likened to a puppet master pulling the strings behind the scenes. The first step in the rat's modus operandi is gaining access to a system. This is usually accomplished by tricking the user into downloading and installing the rat. This could be through an email attachment, a malicious link, or even hidden within another seemingly harmless software. Once downloaded, the rat goes to work, setting up its covert operations. The next phase is maintaining persistence. A rat is designed to stay hidden, often disguising itself as a legitimate process or application. It's the proverbial wolf in sheep's clothing. This allows it to run every time the system starts up, ensuring that the hacker retains control even if the system reboots. The rat is also programmed to avoid detection by antivirus software, further ensuring its longevity on the system. Once the rat has secured its hold, it's time for the hacker to take control. The rat provides the hacker with a comprehensive control panel, a sort of remote control for the infected system. From here, they can perform a wide range of actions. They can view and modify files, monitor user behavior, change system settings, and even activate hardware like cameras and microphones. The hacker essentially has the same control over the system as the legitimate user, if not more. Imagine someone else having the keys to your home and being able to come and go as they please, rifling through your belongings and even changing your home's layout. That's what it's like when a rat infests a computer system. Now that you understand how they work, it's time to talk about how to protect yourself. Knowing is half the battle. The other half is protection. So, how do you shield yourself from the cunning claws of remote access Trojans or rats? The first line of defense is keeping your software up to date. This might seem like a no-brainer, but it's surprising how many people neglect this simple step. Software updates often contain patches that fix vulnerabilities which rats could exploit, so always keep an eye on those update notifications. Next, let's talk passwords. A strong, unique password can be a real game-changer. Avoid using obvious choices like password 123 or your birth date. Instead, opt for a complex mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. And remember, no two passwords should be the same. Now we come to the most devious method of rat infiltration, suspicious emails or downloads. Cybercriminals can be incredibly creative, disguising their malicious software as an innocent looking email attachment or a tempting download link. Always be cautious. If an email seems off, even slightly, don't open it. If a download link seems too good to be true, it probably is. Lastly, consider investing in a reputable antivirus program. While not foolproof, they can provide an extra layer of security, scanning for and removing potential threats before they can do any harm. To wrap up, always remember, cybersecurity isn't a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process, a constant game of cat and mouse. Remember, the best defense is a good offense. So, let's summarize what we've learned about rats. These are nefarious tools that hackers use to infiltrate and control systems remotely. They work by deceiving users, often appearing as harmless files. And to keep yourself protected, always be cautious of unfamiliar files, keep your software up to date, and use a robust antivirus program. Remember, in the digital world, knowledge is your best defense. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and keep your systems rat-free.